What's up squad, it's that guy, which guy, shy guy DY, and welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we got ourselves the first badge, the Boulder badge, from Brock's Pewter City Gym. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we made our way through all the trainers on Route 3 and 4 and made our way here to Mount Moon. In this episode, we're gonna just go through Mount Moon and Pikachu's happy. And we're just going to beat all the trainers here and get through to the next city. That's basically what this episode's going to be. So, if you don't like random encounters and trainer battles, then this episode's not for you, to be perfectly honest. And here's our first random encounter. Oh my god, it's a Clefairy! Um, okay. That is a very, very lucky first encounter. I'm going to catch this. Wow. Like, that is that is awesome. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Thank God it lowered my attack. Don't get a critical hit. Just, okay, that should do. Okay, now I'm going to try and catch this. Ah, uh, yes, got it. All right. Little clap for me. Awesome. First, that was, what a, that's awesome for a first encounter to get, like, one of the rarest uh, Pokemon in this dungeon. Yeah, the very first encounter. That's awesome. Um, I might hang on to a bit for, for a bit, actually. And there's a potion. Give that to... Um, I'll give that to Clefairy. I'll hang on to it. I'll probably train it off screen or something. I'll hang on to it for a while. Just to, you know, just to have it on the team. It's got no real use. Apart from metronomes, it's only decent move, and that's only really good if you get lucky. So, but I'll, you know, seeing as I caught it, seeing as, you know, it's a first encounter, lucky first encounter, I'm going to just hang on to it for a while. But I'm going to keep fighting trainers, I'm going to keep training up my three main Pokemon. We need Pikachu at least level 20 by the time we get to uh, Cerulean City, because... He has to fight the gym leader, all on his own. Um, Kakuna, good experience for for Nidoran. Uh, okay, what's been going on? I usually fill my episodes with just stream of consciousness discussion. Um, I watched the Game Awards uh, last night or early this morning. Um, it was alright. Uh, I know everyone's talking about the Game Awards now, at the moment. Um, yeah, it was an alright show. I mean, there wasn't, you know, any awards that I felt, well, any, like, any winners that I felt were undeserving. You know, this was actually a... This was actually an alright year for games, to be perfectly honest. There was quite a few games out there that really, you know, blew people away and, like, I didn't feel there was any undeserving winners. Maybe there was, like, some people complained that maybe some should, you know, should have won over some others, but, you know, I still think it was pretty good. I think the main, ever, the one thing that everyone's talking about coming out of the Game Awards is, um, the whole Hideo Kojima thing. Uh, he's, he was banned. He was essentially banned from attending the awards. He had every, he had every, uh, every intention to be there but he was banned from going by a lawyer from Konami said he wasn't able to go and something about oh fuck so, something about um you know employment contracts or whatever I'm thinking what a what a load of bullshit what a load of bullshit that is I really haven't drawn myself like really put myself too far into the uh, the Konami uh, Hideo Kojima thing, but what I will say is they have essentially they're trying to they're basically trying to what they're trying to do whatever they can to win Konami. I don't know how this all started, but it really needs to end. Like Kojima has gotten so much bullshit because of this 
And I just think, you know, how are you doing, Pikachu? Why are you sleeping? Oh. Okay, we'll get you healed up. <laughs> we don't want you to stay asleep forever. How's, how's he still walking? He's still walking yet, he's sleeping. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center. Let's get you healed up. Freaking hashtag free Konami. I mean, not Konami, free Kojima. Konami can eat a dick. To be perfectly honest, and now people are in the comments sections of some videos are calling for the boycott of Konami games. You know, over the unfair treatment of Hideo Kojima. And I don't think that's what Kojima would want. I mean, Metal Gear Solid 5, clearly one of the games of the year. Absolute masterpiece, according to some, according to some critics and some people. Um, deserving of all the accolades it gets, regardless of the, the distributor. You know, because this was all this was this. Her Metal Gear Solid was Kojima's, like Kojima's baby. It's always been Kojima's baby. It'll always be Kojima's baby. I don't think we should punish that. I don't think you know that should be Metal Gear Solid should be punished over what Konami's doing. The backlash is just going to get too uh, too much. Hopefully, there's a resolve sometime. But for now, I just think it's just a load of bullshit. Like, I have I don't have an opinion. I, I, my only opinion is that Konami are a bunch of assholes, and they really need to grow up and sort their shit out because. A really hard-working one of one of the most beloved people in video games at the moment Hideo Kojima has been for quite some time one of the most beloved people in gaming in like the in the video game in video game development he'll he'll always have the support on his side like like there's nothing that's going to sort of imp that's, there's nothing that's going to implicate him um, at the moment. I don't see anything implicating uh, Kojima. So the support is always going to be on his side. It's just a... I just... No. I really... It's, it's a bit of a... It's very complicated to sort of get my opinion out. But what... All I will say, I'll leave, just leave it at Konami needs to grow up, they need to stop being babies, and they need to actually sort their shit out. Because otherwise, Kojima's suffering because of it. Oh, hey Pikachu. Kojima's suffering because of it, and gamers, by extension, are going to suffer because of it, because we're being denied this brilliant game developer. He's essentially. I don't know if there's. I don't know if there's going to be any more Metal Gear Solids. He might do it on his own. But I'm pretty sure that Konami actually owns the rights to the Metal Gear Solid IP. So if this isn't resolved, there might not be any more Metal Gear Solid games, and Kojima will have to, you know, basically be on his own. And it'll essentially be a glorified indie developer, which, you know, which is hard. It's hard for any, um, it's hard for any indie developer to really, I mean, there's been a lot of indie, great indie games this year, but I feel on the overall, it's a lot harder for indie developers to sort of get that, I wouldn't say exposure, I'd say It's more of it's more of a backing thing. Like they don't have that big, you know, triple A company behind them. It's in advertising, in in marketing of games, it's a lot harder for indie developers to get their foot in the door. But when they do, they become huge hits. Just look at some of the indie games. Look at the nominees for indie game of the year at the Game Awards. You know, 
some of the best games overall this year. And they always are. But I just feel it's a lot it's a lot harder for indie developers to sort of marketing wise to get their foot in the door. Which is why a lot of them sort of go by the wayside. Only the truly great games really make it into the gaming into the like overall gaming consciousness. I have I pretty much have no idea what I'm talking about. You probably don't understand anything I'm talking about. You probably think I'm an idiot for just saying a load of rubbish. But, like I said, I'm a stream of consciousness uh, person. Like, I'll just say whatever. And it doesn't really make a difference. Um, we just got a rare candy, didn't we? I might give it to someone. Uh, give it to give it to Pika. He'll, he'll like that. See, he'll, he'll love me for it, watch. See? He's very happy. Aww. Ah, oh, Pikachu, he's so cute. I love you, Pikachu. You're the best. Give Ray Candies. Ooh, Sentry. Um, should I catch it? Nah. I'm gonna catch this one. There's a better Grand type Pokemon later on. Um, I do need 10 Pokemon though. So... I should... I should get, I think I, I think I've got a few at the moment. There's been Pikachu, Magikarp, Butterfree, which is three Pokemon. Then I've got Pidgey, Clefairy, yeah, I've got, I think I've got ten right now. I'm not sure. Even if I don't have ten, I'll have ten very soon, so. And Pidgey's level 16. Uh, let's have a look. I've got eight. At the moment. So, we've got Butterfree, Pidgey, Pikachu, Nidoran Male, Clefairy, and the last one should be Magikarp. Yeah, there it is. So, I've got eight at the moment, so I'll very easily have ten, because you need, you need ten. Ten is the minimum if you really want to finish this game. I mean, because you need... You need Flash, the H, the Flash HM. You can try and get through without the Flash HM, but it is quite difficult and it requires a lot of requires sort of manipulating the game as much to sort of make your way through. And it's really tedious and annoying. And I'd rather just have Flash just to get through easy. Uh, what do I use Double Kick for? It's not effective. Um, I really wish Gust was a was a flying type move. This battle will be over very easy, very quickly. Uh, oh god, it's hot today. It's summer, it's just started. It's, you know, I got a feeling it's gonna start getting hotter now. Like December, January, February, it's gonna, it's gonna linger. But I reckon December, I reckon December's gonna be hot. This week's gonna be like all week it's going to be 30 plus degrees so it's going to be uh it's going to be hot but hopefully christmas isn't too bad hey nidoran's level 16 all right but my recollection it should evolve all right it's attack is going to go up which is what i would like and it's evolved into Nidorino! Alright. Um, now, now that it's evolved, I have to sort of figure out when I'm going to evolve it again. Because I'll be picking up a Moonstone in a couple of minutes. So if you, if you uh, would bear with me, I'm going to search Bulbapedia right now. I base my... Um, when I evolve, you know, Pokemon that require stones to evolve, I base that on... I base that on moves, like what moves it learns before it evolves. It's a Nidorino now. I'm gonna look at learn set leveling up for Gen 1. 
It's always on Gen 6. Whenever you go to a move set, it's always based it's always Gen 6. Um Okay. Elian's poison sting in three levels from now. Focus energy level 27, Fury Attack level 36, and Horn Drill level 46. It learns double kick at level 50 in red and blue. Really? Like that's one of the that's one of the starting moves in Pokemon Yellow. Why is it its final attack in uh, in the other games? Um, all right, I'll search up Nidoking, King. See if it learns any moves. Uh, see if it learns any moves. Sorry, um, you'll have to bear with me while I'm searching on <laughs> on Bulbapedia because I'm very curious as to when uh, I can evolve him again. Um, learns Double Kick level 12, Thrash at level 23, so it doesn't really learn much. So I think what I'll do. I'll leave it, I'll wait till it gets, I'll wait till it gets Horn Drill, and then I'll evolve it. So that's level 46, I believe. And by then, by the time, when I evolve it, its stats should just go way up. Oh shit, I forgot about these ladders. Um, I better go back. Uh, Zubats. I quit, I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot about, you know, I have to go down the ladders and fight Team Rocket. Um, okay, hang on. Ugh. God damn it. Now I'm gonna be, you know, getting Zubats every couple of, couple of steps. At least these experience, I don't run away from battles. I never, I don't use repels. I don't run away from battles. I fight everything. Unless I'm in, like, serious, I mean, like, my health. My Pokemon's health is in like serious danger and I need to get out of there. Like desperately. Other than that, I will fight everything. I won't bypass any trainers. And I won't. Oh, here's the, the ladders here. Uh, there's always Paris down here. 100%. 100% encounter rate. Hopefully we can get through to the ladder without encountering. Oh, awesome. Alright, let's, um, let's go up here first. Get this. It's a HP up. I'll use that on... I'll use that on Pikachu. Pikachu... I'll give all my... basically all my vitamins to Pikachu. And I'll love me for it. See? See, look how happy and cute he is. He's the best Pokemon ever. Wouldn't you want a Pikachu in real life? Like, who, do, who wouldn't want a Pikachu in real life? They're the cutest fucking thing ever. And... I'll, I'll hurt you if you say any different. Because... Pikachu, my favorite Pokemon is actually Pichu. It's uh, it's ba it's uh, baby form. <clears throat> but for a long time, my favorite actually was Pikachu, and it's not just because it's like the mascot or like the the, the poster boy of the uh, of the company, but just because it's the best. Is Pikachu is awesome, and fucking Raichu is an absolute beast. I love Raichu, but sadly I can't evolve it in this one. Oh well, Pikachu's still... Pikachu's, like I said, it's pretty awesome. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon Gangsters. <sighs> Pokemon Gangsters, huh? Me my view of Gangsters is very different from yours, pal. I think Gangsters, I think... Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci. You know? Gangster movies. Real gangster movies. It's not what you think gangsters are. I wish they'd made it like that in the in the in the anime. Like they actually made it Team Rocket like a mafia style organization. I know it's it's not really. It's just they're just crime. But if they made it a bit more mafia, it would have been a lot cooler. Like Giovanni, you've already got like an Italian freaking boss who's hell bent on domination. Who's hell bent on you know. Global domination. <laughs> as if you wouldn't base it, as if you wouldn't make Team Rocket Mafia. They're essentially the Mafia, but they're not really. 
I wish they were now. I really wish they were now. I, w I, I, I can picture it in my head how much better it would. Oh, God. Nidorino's sprite looks weird. I'm so glad they fixed the, um, the sprites in Gen 2. They look a lot better. Uh, I almost forgot his, super, his um, weak against bug type attacks. I blew it. Yeah, you sure did, pal. Um, Alright, let's go. Now that, now that that's done, we can move on. And there's more Zubat. Duh. Oh yeah, he's on level 17. Oh, he's not supposed to be in front of the row, but I'll, I'll keep him out anyway. Um, I said before Paris had a 100% uh, encounter rate in the in the basement. Turns out I was wrong. The only thing that could spoil that statistic is a fucking Zubat, of course. Oh, can I get through? Yes. Um. What do I do? Do I use an escape rope? Or do I... I'll use one of my escape ropes. Get out of here. Go heal up. Um... It's, it's TM12. Water, that's water gun, isn't it? Can anyone learn it? Huh. Nidorino can learn it. I don't know why. And Clefairy can learn it as well. Um... Surprisingly, we haven't encountered any rock Pokemon here. There's usually Geodude lurking around um, in Mount Moon. I haven't encountered any. This is weird. I'll, I'll give it to Clefairy. Just because I don't plan to use Clefairy in the long term. I'm just hanging on to it for now. I'll train it up a little bit. Maybe evolve it. If I find another Moonstone. Because I'm going to... My first Moonstone is going to be for Ninorino, of course. But if I find another one, I'll evolve it. And just... Yeah, so it's there. Oh, Chansey. I love Chansey. Chansey... I get so hyped whenever I encounter a Chansey. Because it's literally... It's one of the rarest in the game. Like, non... non-legendary. When you encounter... When I encounter... Whenever... Oh my god, Pikachu is jumping up for joy! He's so happy! Yay! Sorry. <laughs> I was a bit excited there. Uh, I get so hyped for Chansey. If I encounter a Chansey in this playthrough, uh, when I go to the Safari Zone, to, to, just you wait. The hype will be real. But that's not for a long while yet. We still got aid. We're still we're still light years away from facing Chansey. <laughs> to quote, to quote that guy at uh, Pewter City Gym. Ah, not very effective. Good. Ugh, these battles are so. Should I use the turbo function? I've got a turbo function on here. That's how I grind. But I don't want to cut battles out because that's just, you know, editing. That's just creating more hassles for me editing-wise just to cut every little thing out and that sort of fucks up my audio. Um, so should I should I use the turbo feature on my on the on random encounters? Let me know in the comments section and I'll do it in future episodes. We're pulling in a big job here. Get lost, kid. You didn't see nothing if you didn't see nothing. Like tight lips. This is Mr. Tight Lips over here. I ain't seeing nothing. You didn't <laughs> fucking the penguins. You didn't see anything. <laughs> this came into my head. I don't know why. <laughs> That's the best. I love that. I use that all the time. Like Oh fuck. Supersonic, I hate this. Please. Apparently if you hold the A button down, it uh it doesn't get it doesn't attack itself. That's just some old, you know, thing I learned online. Um Yeah, I'll keep him in. Just evolve him. Uh, uh don't attack yourself. Fuck. And it's gonna use rap. Oh thank god. Please don't attack yourself. Please, please attack. Yes. Thank you. I hate confusion. Oh, thank god I can't get poisoned. Hey, I'm not confused anymore. Which means I can get poisoned now. Just kill it before it poisons you. Quick attack. 
best in this situation. Can I evolve now, please? Damn it! Sir, you are good. If you find a fossil, give it to me and scrap. Oh no. What can you give me? Ah, TM01. That's Mega Punch. I know exactly who I'm going to be teaching that to. Because it's who I always teach it to. Mega Punch. Get rid of Quick Attack. I've got, now I've got a better physical attack. Mega Punch is really good. If it's kind of inaccurate, but it's not as inaccurate as Mega Kick, which is which is handy. And I've got an Aether, which I don't think they sell for anything in this game. They sell for about 600, 600 bucks in uh, later games, but I think in in the original in Gen One they they sell for nothing. And yet, you can still sell it, you just won't get anything for it. That's weird. Ah, uh, what have you got, buddy? More rat, more retarder. I just yawn, I'm really tired. <sighs> Days are just going by for me now. It's gonna be either long or short. Ah. Uh. I just want to, I just want you to evolve. Please evolve. Ugh, oh, damn it. Hopefully, I think this might be it. This might be all it needs. And then it will evolve. Please be. Please. Yay! Level 18. Finally. Alright, I'll switch it out. Um, put Pikachu in. Pikachu doesn't fall for a bit. And just thundershock the hell out of the Zubat. So kill it, one shot. Boom. Done. Alright. Losing sticks. Yeah, it sure does. I would not, I never lose. I am a Pokemon Master. And I've only gotten one badge. And I got Pidgeotto. Yeah, alright. Um. Okay, now that Pidgeot has evolved, we're closing up on half an hour now, so I think what I might do is I might leave this episode here, and in the next episode, we will continue our way through Mount Moon, hopefully make it out to Cerulean City, kick Team Rocket's ass, and gun for our second batch. We should be ready by then to go straight to the gym for the second batch. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like, uh, share it around with all your mates. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go back and watch some of my other videos. The playlist for Pokemon Yellow is in the description down below, as are my socials, which you can follow me at. And I'll see you in the next episode of Pokemon Yellow. Until then, DY out. Peace.